Right then, I've just walked. It's the last day of March, by the way, and I'm out on a walk, West Huntsville to near Paula, or Paula, however you want to pronounce it. I'm not going all the way to Paula, though. I'm going to, I'm going sort of nearly there, but I'm not, I'm not doing two loops of the, the river, which is further up, because the weather is starting to look a bit greyer, and they did forecast rain later. But I've had a lovely walk up the River Parrot. I just wonder about that outlet there. It seems quite a lot of outlet. Is that coming from Hinkley Point, I wonder, which is sort of over there? Is that a pipe leading out to the river there? Quite a lot, isn't it? I reckon it is. I reckon that's from Hinkley Point, that outlet there. Anyway, there's people walking on the other side of the bank, right up there, look, that's what I want to do one day, I wouldn't mind doing that walk up there. There's a lot of blokes I've noticed out, they could be bird watchers, I don't know, that might not be, that might be. Yeah, because you can go out to the hides along that bit. It's, um, rain down there. Of course, I've just come from all the way over there. A long, long way over. Um, I'll just zoom in if I can find the church. From um, It's now much further away. There it is. It's coming into view now further away now, look. I've walked from there. Along the River Parrot. <sighs> and eventually I will end up passing that big barrage balloon hanger over there. I should go right past that eventually. One of very few that are left in the country, that is, but it doesn't look that well preserved. Don't really know what you can do to preserve it, really. <sighs> Even though the cows aren't, aren't out, you can still smell like cow around here. Because massive herds will swarm these greenery soon. And you'd have to hope, if you did the River Parrot Walk, that your herd was right over there so you could get to the next gate. But they can still get up the bank. And over there, I've been in that church at Cummidge. There we have Cummidge. It's got uh, at least two pubs, and then one pub used to back onto the river. And... Uh, I don't know if, it, if it's now a, a private residence, but they used to, there it is, there. What's it called again? Something in. Anchor in. That's right, it might still be a pub. Had a few jars in there in the past. Of course, a very busy dock once, Cummidge. Leading up to Bridgewater, quite an important dock once, which is now gradually disappearing. In fact, it looks more deteriorated than when I was here last, as if they've dismantled some of it. I think at one point, a bit further up, there was a pub this side. And it might have been called the Ferryman. Because at one point, leading over to Cummage there, there was, I think, either a walkway, low tide you could walk it, and there's still ancient, apparently very ancient, wood laid in the mud, going back a thousand years and longer, used by the ancients to walk across the River Parrot. This parrot's been here a long time. I'm just passing through as far as it's concerned. Just one of 
many dying visitors that come to this land. Yeah, and I think there was a ferry as well that would take people across the parrot here. And I got a feeling there was a pub called the Ferryman or something like that on this side of the river. Could have even been where that copse is there. Look. I got a feeling in a minute there's a notice board. There might be a little board up here. So I've got to turn off in a minute and start heading back because I'm not doing the two double loops. Not today. They are massive, those loops, you know. You might think, oh, it's only over there. No, but because you start going that way, then it brings you back again and you do another loop. And that happens several times. Right, over and out. Over and out for now.